So you're ju not judged by your reward and punishment and how well you behave, ultimately, but rather by the mazel, which is the language of dripping from Lebanon, as it's written, the higher mazel, which is the world of Atsilis, meaning the pure godly realm, drips your shefa into the lower realm. And that is to say that the shefa drips from the will of the abister alone, so to speak. Like just the analogy is like water dripping. As to say from the highest will that the Shefa above comes below. And with this you will understand what is said in Moyid Cotton 28A. How many of you are familiar with this thing that I like to say called Iker terms? You guys ever hear this? Iker terms. And there's another thing called we don't guess, we look it up. And it's called knowing the source. And you know how sometimes there's really hardcore sources? For example, if I was teaching Gare, what would be an example, Jacques, of a hardcore source as opposed to a lesser core source? Anyone? What are some of the hardcore sources of Gare? Come on. Don't be shy. Hello. Come on. Hello. Am I talking to myself here? Wait, hey, hello? Hello? Mishle, no. What is it? Come on, people. A vote is 64. A vote is 64B. Yvonne is 48B. Crease is 9A. Parshus Ray, 1421, Chuck. Those are... Helchus Malachim 8, 10, 11. Helchus Malachim 10, 9, 10, 10. These are your grade A sources, type 1. There is such a thing called the grade A source. Moshe Shulman will say, I never heard of a, a grade A source. I don't understand what Katz is talking about. I never heard of grade A. No one calls it grade A. I don't care. David Katz calls it grade A. So in the Mazel universe, maybe the absolute 1A of all Mazel sources, you just heard it. You can quote it. It's one of those quotables. Moed Kutten, which they tractate of the Talmud, 28A, Chaye Bani Omezoine, life, offspring, and wealth or sustenance, food, is not held in merit, rather in mazel. So how you live your life, how you have your, your family, and how you put food on the table is a matter of mazel and not merit.